All right, welcome back. In the last video, we figured out what C1 and C2 were. We're going to take these two constants and plug them into equations 1 and 2. Okay, and I'm actually going to do that down here because I'm running out of room up there. So for equation 1, remember our original equation um, was EI dy dx uh, is equal to wlx squared over 4 minus wx cubed over 6 um, plus our constant, constant 1, and our constant 1 we figured out above was negative wl cubed over 24, right? And if we simplify this down a bit, ei dy dx is equal to wlx squared over 4 minus wx cubed over 6 uh, minus wl cubed over 24. And this becomes um, our equation for the slope. Um, what we can do is we can divide this e out, ei out and bring this down to the denominators for these three terms. Um, and we'll get dy dx. And remember, dy dx is the same as our slope or our rotation. Um, and that's equal to wlx squared over 4ei uh, minus wx cubed over 6ei minus wl cubed over 24ei. Okay, so I'm going to actually call this equation, I'm going to call this equation um, A, okay, equation A. And our second equation was, our second equation was EI times Y is equal to WL um, X cubed over 12. Uh, minus wx to the fourth over 24 plus our constant um, constant 1 times x right negative wl cubed over 24 uh, x and then plus constant 2 but constant 2 was 0 so I'm going to put 0 right there and if we simplify this down a bit, we'll get EIY is equal to WLX cubed over 12 minus WX to the fourth over 24 minus WL cubed over 24 uh, times X up here, right? And I'm going to bring this EI to the other side and I'm going to get Y. And remember, Y is equal to our deflection at any point. And that's equal to, uh, again, what's up here, WLX cubed over uh, 12 EI minus WX to the fourth over 24 EI uh, minus WL cubed X over 24 EI. Right? And this equation um, I'll call I'll box it in red uh, and I'll call this equation B. So we use the double integration method to figure out our equations for our slope or our rotation at any point along span AB and we also used it to find the deflection at any point along span AB. Um, we found the deflection equation along any span or any point on span AB. So Let's do a quick example um, utilizing these equations. If we wanted to find, looking at this diagram, if we wanted to find um, the deflection at midspan. So what is the deflection here at midspan? Well, midspan um, is L over 2, right? That's the distance. Um, that means our x value is going to be equal to L over 2. And since we need to find deflection, we plug it into this equation B here, right? Because B is our deflection equation. And up there we said um, X is equal to L over 2. So if I plugged in L over 2 for all of these X's here, 
I'm going to get deflection is equal to W, L, um, and L, or X cubed is L over 2 cubed divided by 12 EI uh, minus W, X to the fourth. X is L over 2 to the fourth divided by 24 EI uh, minus W, L cubed times X and x again is L over 2 uh, divided by 24 EI and if I solve all this out this is just a bunch of algebra work so if you were to do the algebra I'm actually running out of space um, you'll get deflection if you solved all this out uh, you should get negative 5 WL to the fourth oops to the fourth not to the ninth to the fourth over at 384 okay 384 and I believe that should be 384 EI right so this is our deflection at mid spans so if we actually had the values of W and L we could figure out what the deflection at mid span or here is now if we find, wanted to find um, our slope um, our rotation at here at A, right, this slope here at A, um, we can actually plug it into equation A because equation A gives us our slope, right? So if we wanted to find what the slope, oh, that's a very bright color, uh, what the slope was at A, um, we can plug in a value for X into equation A and the value we'd plug in would be x is equal to 0 right because at x equals 0 that's where pin A is located so let's plug in x is equal to 0 um, into equation A to figure out what the slope or the rotation at pin A is right so beta A is equal to WL x squared and x is 0 squared right 0 squared over 4 EI minus W and X again is 0 cubed over 6 EI minus uh, W L cubed over 24 EI and these zeros cancel out this term and this term so we're left with beta A is equal to negative W L cubed over 24 EI alright so we figured out what the slope of A is, and really, uh, double integration method, you find a moment equation, an internal moment equation here, and you use that equation in this formula. You integrate it one time to get your um, formula for deflect, or sorry, rotation, and you integrate it two times to get your deflection. Okay, so hopefully this helped. Um, there'll be a few more examples. All right.